How to use Google Meet Breakout Rooms extensions. Using Google Meet Breakout Rooms can be done easily following these simple steps. First, you will need to download an extension. Go to the Chrome Web Store. In the search bar, type Google Meet Breakout Rooms. Press Enter. Find the purple B icon for the Breakout Room extension and then click Add to Chrome. You should see a message saying that the Breakout Rooms extension has been added to Chrome. If you want to find it again, click on the puzzle icon and pin it. Once you open the Google Breakout extension, you will see this web browser page. We will go through all the essential options one by one. Click on the Courses tab. Here, you can add all the different courses you're teaching. For example, I will add two courses. To add the first one, click on the plus button and write the course name. You can do the same thing with the second one. After you're done, click on the Save button. To undo any changes, simply click on the Undo button. To delete the entries, click the red button. To export this information about courses as a text file, click on the black button. Now, go to the Rooms tab. I will select Mathematics. Now, let's say that for this course, I want to create three breakout rooms or groups. The process will be the same. Click on the green plus button to add rooms. By default, a main room is created. Click on this button and name it. For example, Group 1. I will be creating three groups and I will name them Group 1, Group 2 and Group 3. Once you're done with creating the breakout rooms, click on the Save button. This will save these groups and will automatically generate Google Meet links for the main and all the other breakout rooms. So these are the Google Meet links that can be shared with all the students. I will scroll up. Now I will click on the Meet tab. We are on the main page or dashboard of the breakout room extension. I will scroll down and click on the Start Class button. Scroll down, click on Course and select the course you're teaching. I will select Mathematics. If you scroll down, you will be able to see the three breakout rooms that we created earlier. There are three options to start these rooms. If I want to open the main room of the course, then I will click on the first button. If I want to open all the breakout rooms, then I will click on the second button. If I want to open both the main and breakout rooms of the course I'm teaching, I will click on the third button. So I will click on it. It will take a few moments to open all the rooms. Now I will click on the Join Now button for all the rooms. I will turn off the camera and the microphone on all the tabs. I will repeat the same thing for all the groups. Now you can see that the bar can be used to navigate all the breakout rooms. Right now we are on the main, but if I click here, we are in group one. Here you can see that the tab has changed. By doing this, you can easily navigate between breakout rooms and you can also unmute or turn your camera or your speaker on or off by clicking on the icons. If you want to broadcast to all breakout rooms, then click here to unmute the microphone. You can see the microphone is turned on. And if you go here, the microphone is turned on as well. So my microphone is turned on in all three breakout rooms with just one click. If I click on it again, the microphone will be muted in all breakout rooms. The same will happen if I click on the camera or the speaker. Now, if we scroll down, then we have the option Assign Breakout Ad Hoc. I will click on it. 
you scroll down, you can see the steps on how you can assign students to ad hoc breakout rooms. Once students join breakout rooms, they then simply click here to copy the student information, or you can click here to copy the breakout information. If I click here, you can see the instructions or steps for breakout assignments in pre-assigned mode. You can follow these steps. If I click here, then we can see all the options related to mute and remove participants. If you scroll further down, the last option will be reports. If you click on it, you can download the CSV file about breakout room links, participant attendance, breakout assignments, and breakout groups. Now, if you scroll up, click on the settings tab. There are some basic settings. For example, if you want to open all the tabs in one window, or if you want to open all the tabs in separate browser windows. Right now, I can open a maximum of five tabs. You can change the number of max tabs here. Here you will find the options to change the meet toolbar color, keep it solid, use a gradient. And you can also change the slider background image or broadcast a background image. If you scroll down, then we can control the automatic entrance of outside participants. To allow outsiders to join Google Meet Rooms, click on the checkbox. These options control whether you can automatically join rooms from this extension. If you want to join a room manually, then uncheck these boxes. Finally, if you already have links to your Google Meet Rooms and you want to use them rather than automatically generate links, then click on the checkboxes. That's how to use Google Meet Breakout Room extension. If this helped you, please give it a like and let us know by commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe for more how-to instructional videos.